Hi, I'm the scrub and you're here for one reason. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But what I do have is a very particular set of classes. Classes that I have acquired over a very long journey that make me a nightmare for bosses like you. If you let my alpha go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not fight you. I will not end you. But if you don't, make no mistake that I will headbutt you into a fine paste. Time to learn about AlphaScape version 4. Simplified. The fight will start out with Omega Male. The platform will also have no walls, so you can easily fall off. Solar Ray is a tank buster. Omega will cast Program Alpha. Four players will get AoEs underneath them. Get out of these quickly, but don't go too far away, as one player will be targeted with a stack marker. Omega will teleport to a random player and create a medium-sized point blank AoE around itself called Efficient Blade Work. Everyone will need to move as a group as best they can to take the stack marker together while also getting out of the AoE. If you get hit by one of the previous unavoidable AoEs, that will give you a Vuln stack. Tanks will then need to keep Omega away from the middle of the arena for what comes next. Omega will then cast the move Subject Simulation F. This will cause it to melt into the floor and change into Omega Female. When Omega Female rises from the puddle, it will knock back all players almost half the distance of the arena from where it is standing. So you'll want to move to a spot where you'll be pushed to a larger area of the platform. Knockback Immunity also works for this mechanic. Omega will cast Optimize Fire 3. Four random players will get a point blank AoE on them. All players will need to spread out as best they can. As this mechanic is going on, Omega will also cast Optimize Blizzard 3, which will create a plus pattern of two thick straight line AoEs through the front and back and the sides of Omega. Omega. Getting hit by either AoE of the plus pattern will give you a stack of Volna. Laser Shower is a room-wide AoE. After another tank buster, Omega will cast the move Synthetic Blades, which will morph her legs into sharp knives. Then Optimized Fire 3 will target four random players with small AoEs again. Omega will then turn towards the middle of the platform and cast Superliminal Steel. This will cleave the left and right sides of the platform in the direction that Omega is facing, while leaving a narrow safe zone in the middle. Everyone will need to get into the safe zone and avoid overlapping the Fire 3 AoEs. Then it will be another Blizzard 3 with the plus pattern AoEs. Following this, her legs will return to normal. Omega will then cast the move Subject Simulation M. Omega will melt back into the floor and re-emerge as Omega Male. When Omega Male returns, it will perform an untelegraphed medium-sized point blank AoE, so everyone will need to get away from the boss. If you get hit by this, it will give you a Vuln stack. Omega will cast the move Synthetic Shield. While the next cast of Program Alpha is going on, Omega will cast Beyond Strength, which is a donut AoE. Everyone will need to move into the middle of the donut and soak the damage of the stack marker. Following this, there will be the point blank AoE of Efficient Blade work, so everyone will need to get out. Omega will repeat mechanics from here until you get its health below approximately 15%. When you get its health down, it will cast another subject simulation and become a puddle where it melted. One player will get a stack marker and another will get a point blank AoE. These will need to be spread out as much as possible. I'd recommend that the players with these markers go towards the edge of the platform on the opposite sides of the arena. The puddle will split in two and hit the players who were targeted. Then the male and female versions of Omega will rise from these puddles. You are going to want to move to where the female is. The male and female versions will perform their same mechanics when they re-emerge from the melted puddle. So the male will perform their untelegraphed graphed medium sized point blank AoE and the female will perform a knockback from her position. Again, knockback immunity works for this. This is why we separate the markers so much to avoid overlapping them, causing Vuln stacks and unnecessary damage. After these mechanics have gone off, the Omegas will move to the middle of the room. The male will guard the female with a protective shield that will render the female completely invulnerable to all damaging attacks. The female will then begin a very slow cast of laser shower. This is an enraged cast. If you do not kill the female before this cast goes off, it will instantly wipe the group. You will need to destroy the male in order to remove the shield from around the female so you'll be able to defeat her. Once you defeat both Omegas, they will both melt in place. The stack marker and point blank AoE will randomly be put on two people. These people will, again, need to spread out. The puddles will splash on these players and the male and female will rise up and perform their re-emerging mechanic like they did before. So you'll need to get close to the female and be knocked back towards the larger side of the arena or use knockback immunity. Once these mechanics have gone out, the Omegas will reset their aggro meters and both will cast Firewall. This will send out a room-wide AoE and separate the raid into two groups with different debuffs. One tank, one healer and two DPS per group. The two different debuffs will be color coded. You will either get Packet Filter M, which is blue, or Packet Filter F, which is red. These debuffs mean you cannot attack the Omega that has the matching letter and debuff color. If you have the blue debuff of Packet Filter M, you cannot attack Omega Male, but you can attack the female. And if you have the red debuff of Packet Filter F, you cannot attack Omega Female, but you can attack the male. If you attack the Omega that has the same color and letter as your debuff, the damage will be nullified with invulnerability. Tanks will need to keep the Omega separated as much as possible. All mechanics from both forms will now overlap and start happening at the same time. If you get hit by anything avoidable in this phase, you'll get a Vuln stack. This phase can be a little chaotic and it can be a bit hard to dodge everything. Just try your best to remember what you can from the previous phase as the attacks that they do will be the same as from before. The Omegas will eventually teleport together and start casting Cosmo Memory. This is a massive room-wide AoE that can potentially one-shot you if you don't have decent gear and have already gotten a few Vuln stacks. The Omegas will then cast Resonance. This will give them a two-colored debuff for 40 seconds and will also be indicated by three white cubes orbiting around the Omegas. While this debuff is up, the close 
closer that the Omegas are to each other, the higher their damage output will be. So tanks, it's important that you separate the Omegas as much as you can. Both Omegas will cast the move Suppression. This will create a straight line AoE from where the eye is located on the outside of the arena. So just be aware of where the giant eye is. If you get hit by this AoE, it will give you a Von stack. Omega Female will then cast Optimized Meteor, and at the same time, Omega Male will cast Optimized Sagittarius Arrow. These are similar to the Black Mage and Bard LB3s. Both tanks will get Flare Markers on them. These will act like personal proximity markers, so everyone else will need to get away from the tanks to reduce the overall damage. Omega Male's Bard LB3 will be a straight line AoE targeted through one player. You'll need to get out of this as it will give you a Vuln stack, and with the combination of the Flare Marker proximity damage, it can easily kill you. After all of the previous mechanics have gone off, both Omegas will cast Optimized Blade Dance. This will be a melee LB2 tank buster to whoever they are targeting. If it is a non-tank, it will more than likely delete them. The mechanics from the first phase will begin to overlap again. This will be followed by another Cosmo Memory, another Resonance buff, and Suppression Limit Rate mechanics from the Omegas. These mechanics will repeat until at least one Omega has been defeated. When one Omega has been subdued, the other Omega, no matter which one it is, will start spamming Laser Shower until it or the party has been defeated. Congratulations, you have completed the raid series of Omega Alpha Scape. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.